Hello everyone, welcome back to my session. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install Apache Hadoop on single node in very easy steps. Right now, I am using Ubuntu 16.04 and you have to follow all the steps which I am doing right now and by that, it will be very easy and you can able to start Hadoop on single node in very portable condition. So what is Hadoop? Hadoop is nothing but Hadoop is a open source software for reliable, scalable and distributed computing. Right now for big data, Hadoop comes on, on the first place for users compatibility and other conditions. Okay. So what we have to do for downloading, just go to hadoop.apache.org and click on the download Hadoop. Once you will come here, here you will come download Hadoop. So just go to the release and whatever release you are able to see here, you can download right now. I'm going to uh, do with 2.7.3. So just click on binary. After that, click on Hadoop 2.7.3 tar.dj. So just click on that, and you're downloading with the started. I'm not going to download this just because I already downloaded. So just go and root it there. So this is my bin Hadoop 2.7.3 tar.dj file. After downloading, right click on here and click extract here. As I promised you that I will provide you the easiest way to do Hadoop installation. Okay, after extract, just right click here, click on rename and just rename to Hadoop. Okay, after rename, just right click here in the, into the folder and click open in terminal. Okay, in open in terminal, I'm just going to move this file that is that folder sudo. Hadoop into the another location that location is user local location. It is asking a password, so just enter the password. And if you want to just go to check, so user local okay, and LL. As you can able to see here, that Hadoop is coming here. That's fine. After that, what I have to do, I'm just going to that particular location to show you. So just go to the my computer, click on user, click on local. Here it is Hadoop. Okay, inside Hadoop, what we have to do, we have to do all the particular configuration and changes into the et sector etc Hadoop this folder. Okay, so but before that, what we have to do, we have to do some changes, and I listed all the changes here in this file. Okay, so the prerequesting of installation is to, to check that what we have in our system right now. So I'm just going to maximize this page and just get the screen. After that, first we have to check Java version. So the command is Java minus version. And here you are able to see that I'm having Java version 1.8. If you are not having Java version 1.8, please go to the uh, my description box and take the video link for Java installation okay so after that okay after that what we have to do okay so in second third step we already completed that download and extract binary Hadoop into user and local okay after that we are going to generate keygen okay so just you have to do copy and paste okay so just and paste here so I'm just going to generate keygen okay it will take a little bit of time and uh, once it is asking enter the file, we have to do just press enter. Y, press enter, enter, enter same person again. And here it is, your, uh, my, my keygen is generated already. Okay, cat means we are going to copy this, uh, this my SSH key into a new file. Okay, for that we have to use the command. So just go, paste. Center. So what happened right now? One one more folder is uh, one more file is created with the name of SS authorized key. Okay, and after the authorized key, we are going to uh, give the permission of this of this folder. So uh, I will suggest here to give ch mode triple seven. Triple seven is for uh, that all the users can uh, do read write and execute on that on that particular folder and files. So after giving the particular authorization, just clear the screen. Okay. After that, we will check that uh, my SSH is working or not. So just give SSH and localhost. Okay. 
it is asking my password that's fine let's give the password and you are able to see here that my my ssh is working very fine okay if you are not getting this this uh, steps then you have to do uh, use that sudo fpd get stop ssh and by using this command for you have to first uh, install the ssh after that you have to do uh, ssh operation okay fine so after the ssh we have to just exit from that our SSH, so it is showing that I'm just in uh, my local host is closed. Fine, that's fine. So just clear the screen now. Just go back to the document, okay? After that, after do uh, each and every operations, we have to go and start to do editing our slash etc slash profile page, okay? Some uh, it is also called as slash bash dot rc file, okay? So just go to that particular file, okay? So ba slash etc slash profile okay as if you come down so here you are able to see here that i already put my uh Hadoop environment what you have to do you have to, to just take this okay and put here let me explain here a little bit like that the first line is my java home and this is my java home location that way is my java let me show you it it is inside user lib inside jvm inside jdk so if i will show you like that so just go to computer user lib jvm and jdk so just go to bin if you right click here and go to properties you can able to see this is my path okay after that the next is uh, like hadoop install it is inside user local and hadoop let me show you also that one so let me close this close now go to the file system go to computer go to user go to local and here hadoop inside bin just right click here also to check it so user local hadoop okay fine so you have to uh, put it like that okay so just to uh, do it right now for the copy and paste of entire path into your slash etc slash profile page okay after that just save that file with the command save file with wq command okay okay fine after that what we have to do we have to start to uh, source the file okay so after that we have to source slash etc slash profile profile Every time you change anything inside the ATC slash profile page, you have to source it. Okay. After source, only you can use the particular location of the file. Okay. After sourcing, we will start to do some Hadoop internal configuration. Okay. So for Hadoop internal configuration, as I told you that this is single node installation. So whatever we have to change, we have to change inside it Hadoop ATC Hadoop into everything we will change here. Only, okay so first we are going to change into core dot core hyphen x site dot xml okay just copy this let me show you how to so just go to code right click here open with get it inside the configuration just put it now just save and close it after that we have to change hadoop environment inside hadoop environment we have to put our java location so i'm just going to copy so hadoop env.sh just right click open with get it and here you are able to see that export java location it is asking so just remove this line okay and pasted the your particular java location my java location is present here so i will push it here just save it after that we have to change into sdfs site.xml so just copy go back sdfc site xml open with get it inside again inside configuration file just paste it Again, save it. Okay, now just close it. After 
HDF side XML, we have to change into mapped side XML. Now here, if you if you see here that mapped site XML dot template is needed. So what we have to do, just right click here, and uh, just uh, we have to do first copy it and paste it here and change the name as mapped site dot XML. Okay, inside that. Okay, so after changing, just right click here, open with get it. Okay, just go back, copy this, and paste it. Now save it. After that, the last one is yarn site.xml. That is yarn site.xml. Just right click, open with, get it. Paste. So let me show you that uh, this is my all the information inside the STFS side. I am having one replication of value of one. It means I put everything as the normal configuration. Okay. Whereas my replication is the only one and local host is using like 127.0.0.1 as my server. Okay, fine. So after this, we have to do my format. I'm going to just format my name node. So for that, STFC name node minus a format. So after everything, Changes into the Hadoop folder. Just going to do name node format, and it is you are able to see that it is asking me to format temporary file. Just give the command Y, press enter, and here you are you are able to see here that shutting down name node at none then virtual box slash one twenty seven dot zero dot one point one. Okay, that's fine. After this, what we have to do? We have to start my all the services. Okay, so sometimes, sometimes what happen if if you are right now start slash all dot sh, it will be tell to use instead of start dfs dot sh and yarn dot sh. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to start with ask my my password. Okay. So Every time it will ask me password for the particular process, so I'm just giving the password. And here it is my all the processes will be started successfully. Either you can use the start minus uh, all sh, otherwise you can uh, use a start dfs sh or a start yarn sh. Okay. After the uh, completing everything, you can check the the jps command that how many things is working. So if you check here if the JPS command that my all the nodes and name node data node resource manager JPS and secondary name node is working very fine. Okay. After that, you can check the version of Hadoop. So Hadoop version. And here you are able to see that Hadoop 2.7.3 version is there. Okay. After all this, just go back to the your Mozilla Firefox or whatever browser you have. So start the UI and here you are able to see that my name node just started successfully. You can check the data node, the data node information working over 127.0.0.1 and it is showing the what is the space and what is the formation I have. So everything is working very fine. Okay. In the last, if you want to stop it, so just you can use a stop to all.sh. Okay. And it is asking that all the password again to stop in each and every domain and all the nodes now my name node is stopped now it is stopping my data node after it is stopping my second name node so you are able to see here that each and everything is working step by step formation Okay, fine. After stopping each and every services, if you check right now JPS, so you are able to see only JPS is working or and nothing is like like that here. You are able to see here that here all the six nodes are working, but here only JPS is showing. My all the uh, the resources are stopped. Now after that, if you if you check here, it will not work. So what you have to do, you have to again you have to go and start all the services. So start 
hyphen all dot sh and again it will be started from my all the services asking the password so just give the, your password whatever it is fine now let's again one again jps so again everything is working very fine and if you again refresh this page so my name node information is started successfully so that's fine so you can able to see how is it easy to install hadoop on single node without you without creating any new user or without creating any new group you can do it successfully okay so thanks for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel as well as please share this video with other and if you are having any problem just comment down and if you want my this document so just please comment down and like this video and after that please provide me your email id and i will successfully send you this entire document for you okay thanks